Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about um, perspective endpoint or PMP problem. <coughs> it's a problem in computer vision that uh, you have a bunch of points and you have a calibrated camera and you know the pose of this point and the corresponding projection to the camera and you looking for the uh, position of the point. I remember camera is calibrated, so you have K. And uh, let's see how many points do we need to uniquely uh, identify the position of the camera. Okay. So uh, let's review uh, projection matrix. Projection matrix was a three by four matrix that consists of K, R, T, so rotation, translation, and uh, intrinsic uh, camera pr property, uh, which we can write it as a K, R, I, minus C which is the uh, center of the camera. Okay, this is our uh, projection matrix. We know that if we have a point in 3D and multiply by projection matrix, we get the uh, point in camera plane. And because it's homogeneous, we put a lambda here, or we could just divide by the uh, last element. We also know that cross product of every vector by itself is zero. And we also know that we can rewrite any cross product as a matrix form, we use this notation to distinguish that uh, uh, this is a, a cross product in a matrix form. You can write it like this. Okay, so uh, I uh, cross product both sides by this value. So it's going to be zero because I cross product by itself. It's a vector. And uh, Remember here uh, we have a, a cross product and here we have a matrix multiplication. So I write this uh, cross product as a matrix multiplication. I use this property here. And uh, here if I, uh, well P1 is a first row, P2 is second row, P3 is the third row. If I uh, massage this uh, matrix a little bit, I can uh, write it in this form which is a 12 by one matrix, 12 row and one column. And here we have a three by 12 matrix. It's, it's the same, the, the, the product of these two matrix is the same. You can see dimensional entity is three by one and it's, here is a three by one. But now the good point is I put the P on this side. Everything is here, all the nouns are here and all the unknowns are here. And uh, you can see X hat is a, uh, X and a one. So sorry for my bad handwriting, but you can see there are uh, lots of uh, zero here, one by four, one by four. Uh, okay. So uh, we have 12 unknowns and uh, uh, let's see how many known, how many points we need to find it. Every point give us uh, to a constraint u and v on the camera plane. So if you have six point, we can uh, solve this problem. Okay, so uh, if we uh, put a six point here and put them in this big, this big matrix and put them next together, uh, six multiplied by two gonna be uh, 18. So we get a big matrix 18 by 12 here. Here we have our uh, unknown matrix, 12 by one, and here it gives us uh, 18 by one matrix, which is all zero. And we know that how to solve it, it's pretty easy. Uh, we just get the SVD of uh, this matrix, and then uh, the last column of the, uh, SV, uh, the VT from the SVD is the uh, answer for our problem, which is this. So we compute the SVD, we uh, get six point, we compute, put it here, we compute the SVD, and uh, last column of the V transpose is the uh, project, is a P that we're looking for. So remember I said uh, our camera is calibrated, so we have the K, and we're looking for uh, R and T now. So we have the P from SVD, and if I uh, multiply both sides by K inverse, I will get R and T. This is three by three, this is three by one, so it's gonna be three by four. 
and this is uh, k three by three, p three by four, so this is also three by four. Uh, but we can't just simply say, okay, uh, r is the first three columns, and t is the last column of this matrix. We, we, we can't just simply say that because R should be orthonormal. R is a rotation matrix. The magnitude should be one. If you multiply by itself, it should be identity. And uh, it's orthonormal. To enforce this uh, orthonormality, we again compute the SVD of R and we divide it by uh, D matrix. So uh, our new rotation matrix is a UV transpose and uh, both of them are unitary matrix so it's also a product is unitary and it's a valid rotation matrix now and because we uh, have done this here we have to also do this for the uh, translation for translation uh, as I said the last column of uh, K inverse multiple by T if you divide it by uh, alpha, oh, sorry, by delta 1, which delta 1 is the uh, first eigenvalue on the uh, SPD decomposition, it gives us the T. So by having six point, uh, we can uh, uniquely uh, identify R and T for a PMP problem. Thank you.